Yeah, I think so. It's about um, female friendship, and I think that transcends anything. Like, um, do you know the Elena Ferrante novels that everyone's talking about right now, the Neapolitan stories? Like, that takes place in the 50s and, or 60s, I guess, in Italy and in a very small town in Naples, and that is, you know, about two women, and I think people are just flipping out about it because it's the special relationship between women, and it doesn't matter when it was or where it was, that female friendship is international. How, how, how important is uh, sex in the show? I think that we're going through a sexual revolution, like in the 70s, but maybe you don't remember, you were not there, but you know about it. Well, I, I mean, sex is really an important part of the show um, because we're trying to depict a realistic version of these women, and that is when a lot of experimenting takes place and a lot of, like, changing takes place. I, like, Marnie's character, for example, she starts out, uh, you know, sort of having the most boring sex in the world, and then when we begin this season... She's getting motorboated by Eben, so, you know, it's, it's all, uh, it's, it's her evolution. And, and I think sex is a big part of it, but it's all, all of our sex is story-driven. There's not any gratuitous sex. And very little of it is good sex, truthfully. It's mostly <laughs> kind of terrible and <laughs> comedic, for the most part. So, uh, Jenny, why do you think it took so long for shows like this to come and be successful? in I'm, which women are in the front line of the first seat, first row? I don't know. That's a really interesting question. I mean, you know, Lena was born like seven minutes ago, so that is part of the reason Girls has come so late. But we were nominated for a Golden Globe this season, and it was really exciting for us because in the category we were nominated, it's almost entirely female showrunners. It's Jill Soloway from Transparent, and Jenji Cohan from Orange is the New Black, and Jen Jenny Ehrman from Jane the Virgin. And to be, like, that feels really new to me. I've been doing this for a really long time. And to be nominated in a category with all those women is really exciting. So I think stories are changing because women are getting more powerful and their voices are getting heard. Uh, for me, it's like a little like, uh, when I watch the show, it's like observing people through very intimate intimate moments yeah without they without them knowing that I'm there it's like a, oh that's a great way it, to describe it thank you but it produces a great pleasure is yeah. that how do you accomplish that as a showrunner well I think I mean it all starts with Lena's voice and she has a very honest voice and you know she's telling her truth and so instantly there's an intimacy there just because it's her telling her story and so you already feel like it's a friend confiding in you. And um, I think, you know, our, our DP does an amazing job also. Our directors and our DP make, do an amazing job giving us also that intimacy in the way it's shot and the way it's directed. Where does your artistic uh, a part of you start and where does your more pragmatic side of you? How do you mix oh, both? Oh, it's pretty blended. I would not, I, uh, I, I don't, I don't think there's a separation really. Um, I, I mean, I manage a lot of people, but within that, it's still a creative job and I still, I mean, if you ask anyone I work with, I'm basically just like this all the time. There's not a difference in my personality. How, how stressful is it to do what you do? Don't tell me it's not. Um, it's it's stressful, but it's high class problems because I really it's the best job I've ever had. I've never had more fun in my life. So it's it's a great kind of stress. How how do you uh, relate to Lena as a partner, a person who works with you? Uh, well, you know she's probably my closest friend. We talk about seven thousand times a day. Text the other day we were doing an interview and. I counted how many texts we had, and we were in separate, we were in like five hour different time zones. So I was like, it was a really light day, and I counted it was 143 times. Um, we had texted in the same day, and it was like 5 p.m. or something when I made that count. But um, we're really good friends, and we're really, we love to collaborate. We have a really good time. We write together. We love to write to, sitting next to each other. 
Um, and we also have a really, really strong writer's room, and we have this room full of these amazing people, many of which have been with us from the first year. So we've all created the show together.